built upon sand parable, you know what I mean? Get blown yeah. away in the storm. Alright, so we have unranked DJ Nintendo going against the number 8 uh, in plank. DJ Nintendo has to be ranked in its own region, right? Yeah, 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 but he's definitely not, you know what I mean, MTBA yeah. power rank. Also, I was kind of making a joke, but anyway, uh, Plank with a pretty strong start here, nearing out a shield. Plank has kind of been re-energized by this recent electricity that's been pumped into this region. <laughs> um, ever since enough good people have started showing up weekly that he's not guaranteed free money, that he has started trading and practicing again, and I think that's good for him, good for the scene, good for the community. Yeah. And, uh, right now, it looks like it's, it's paying it's off. It's good to see his shoot come out again too. Well, he was experimenting with Fox, but like he basically just played it like it was Sheik. So it's sort of like, <laughs> if you're gonna do that, you might as well go back to this. Right. Plank is looking pretty solid right now. Just doing a lot of auto cancel fares, sort of letting DJ try and figure out how to get around them. Lots of auto cancel fares. Lots of needling off the platforms. <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting to see him almost playing like DJ Nintendo style against him. But he gets caught with a back air and not the greatest DI. Oh! And the power of the Zote coming into play. What's the Zote? Oh, uh, it's a legendary fox. <laughs> okay. Possibly, I think one of the favorites to win Evo. You'll find out. Oh, interesting. Yeah, Battlefield has really wide platforms, nice so that's not going to work. It's not going to work here. Yeah, you're right. I think it would work on a stage with slightly smaller platforms. And, uh, we had a little light flicker there. It kind of scared me, but uh, we're just going to pretend it didn't happen. Yeah, it's fine. Now we're going to see the, the Junior Sakurai combo, which is like side to end up here. Nice anticipation. Interesting that he didn't re-grab after that dash attack. Yeah, he could have gotten it. I definitely feel like he could have got it. So just opting to take the tech case. I mean, maybe that's better. Oh my, that felt like a really strong up smash. Just like turbo charge. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think Plank was taking out the the F tilt because he thought like DJ was gonna try and land on him with an aerial, but. Yeah, now you just see, uh, yeah. you see a little bit more of a DJ Nintendo style play out of DJ Nintendo. Kind of like the flute, like a butterfly, sting like a bee, -esque. like Muhammad Ali style. He's on a twos. Kind of playing around him. Nice weight right there for DJ Nintendo. Gives up the ledge, gets cooked. Tech opportunity missed by playing. I'm not sure what that DI was in that back air, but it's going to cost Plank his stock. And now his lead has turned into a deficit in game one. That was a nice chase with the up air. So we've seen Plank change from the, the auto cancel fair needle style. And now he's just running around on the ground and dash attacking. And, uh, does he hit DJ once with that? I don't think so. It, he, he did get punished for, for the jump style a little bit, but like I, I don't think... I mean, it was work overall, it was working well for him, so I don't... Where's the stash attack thing? Like, I'm not sure what this one is for. It's a nice crash. Yeah. Yeah. I'm playing laughing a bit about what happened. Earned it. Oh, good read from DJ Nintendo. Misses the follow-up on the up air. And, uh, Link has got to put something together if he wants to bring the smash. Feels like it's slipping away from you. An interesting recovery. Sort of using the ceiling to like shorten his up the almost. Alright, so he gets one of all of his needles and he just runs super straight past him. Trying to, to shield him not shield grab. grab. That was a that was oh, greedy. I'm sorry, Plank, but that was like a that was a very scrubby choice. You know very better. Greedy. You you know better than that. You've been around too long to go for that. You know, when you're when you're that far behind, sometimes you just have to hold your opponent as you go. Yeah, I, I guess I can see that. 
And sometimes people just don't cover the scrubby option, right? Yeah. And if you get away with it, you know, good on you. <laughs> but if you don't, you just look. You look. Uh, you look very you look silly. Bad. <laughs> All right. Nice call in the second place. That's somewhat interesting because I know I know Plank can do the reactive tech chase, but he he messed it up one time against uh, DJ in the last match. So it looks like he's going more for the the up smash reads this time. <laughs> That's the that's the sort of tech skill that's really like finicky. Like I'll throw up here. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's um. If if you're like a little bit like dehydrated or whatever, that can be the difference, you know, between being able to do it and not. Yeah, you gotta be like a you gotta be sharp all the time, or you gotta be Mewtwo King. <laughs> yeah, there. I think he did a blind jab. Oh my my goodness. He didn't end up smiling at the fact that he used a forward smash in a combo. No freaking DI on that down smash, as TJ Nintendo would say to himself if he was commentating. I think he heard me. He heard you. Alright. Oh, he's definitely just flubbing these uh, tech chase on reactions. He's yeah, he's he's definitely just predicting now. Yeah. I, I guess he lost faith in his his reaction time. I'm not. Oh my! DJ tried to do the utmost. Gonna end up. Oh my God! Fox is the best. <laughs> Plank. Plank needed to react to that situation just a little bit faster and grab the ledge. Nice SDI on the drill. Back air. And Plank takes the lead. That was a solid edge guard. Uh oh. I don't know what that <laughs> was, but it wasn't taking us down. So we have a tied game here. Losers' quarters. Plank for students to know. I think one of these two is not getting money, am I right? Oh, they're both getting money. One of them is getting less money, is what I should say. One of them is going to be able to pay for tolls, the other one isn't. See, that's what you're talking about, the, the, the wave yeah. side. If you di it all the way out. Plank, Plank got out of it. Yeah. It, so I've talked to um, Cypher Phoenix a little bit about punishing Sheik at low percent. You don't actually get anything guaranteed off the up throw if you grab Sheik below like 20. So like, it, it's sort of awkward when you shine them because if you up smash, you don't get anything. If you grab up throw, you don't get anything. So like, you can try and shine to, to tack on extra percent to get them to the point where you can like up throw an air or something. But. See, I think it's something you can react to. Yeah. Like if it's, it, it's after the be. second one, you know, you should probably predict it. And uh, that was a strong up smash by DJ Nintendo, evening up the stock count. But uh, if Plank wants to go to a third game, potentially move on to loser semis. He's got to put, he's got to close this out and not let DJ Nintendo. Uh, close this gap, or perhaps even take this game. Opportunity. He needs it now. Oh, good fair. Not quite. Going for the reverse fair there. He didn't know what the slow get up. Retreats all the way to the end of the stage. Here we see Plank just fishing for the forward air. Yeah, knows. back air is gonna do it. And one, one. Ooh. <laughs> it's good to see these two are having a good time. They're both <laughs> trying to win, but uh, there's definitely some childlike laughter. Going on. Something's funny over there. Yeah. What's that? Ah, I see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time he banned Pokemon Stadium. No, no, they last time he didn't ban Pokemon Stadium. Oh, he, he didn't, excuse me. And then he, 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 he kind of was upset about that. Interesting. FD. So I believe Mario has a chain grab on Sheik. I think so. A little bit. I, of a I'm not sure what the rationale behind this matchup is, but that could be it. 
It could also be a little bit of you don't know this matchup, and I'm good at it. Um, I, I normally don't like it when people bust out Jank characters, but well, anybody can do it as DJ. I once saw DJ Nintendo's Mario, or maybe it was his doc, like JV3 stock Mewtwo King in tournament. <laughs> this once happened. It was he, he did once happen. Well, Mewtwo King quit out, right? I think and so. then came back and won the set. Well, that still happened. And uh, it's looking like a good switch right now. Plank looks a little bit lost. He, uh, I'm not sure how well he... I mean, he knows his character is overall better. Well, I'm sure he knows the matchup. Sometimes that's a terrible situation to be in. Where you're like, I know my character is good. I know I should be winning, but I'm down a stock and I don't know what to do. Right. Well, I think a lot of people talk about, like, oh, this is a good matchup, it's a bad matchup. But it's sort of like, if you don't know what makes it a good matchup, then it's not a, it's not a good matchup for you. It's exactly. Like, you're lost. You have no idea what's happening. Now, Mario is certainly not bad enough that you can just, like, you know, oh my, that was completely a ignore him like Bowser or whatever. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> nice use of it. And that... that <laughs> That was pretty dope. That was a very good use of the up B getting out of that. Tenth was almost LRA started in real life. <laughs> you can't believe it. <laughs> his, his reaction was just like, I don't know if I can stay here. Alright, that threw fair. Oh, okay. All right, good so edge guard. Plant gets some points on the scorecards. Uh, Ed, but edge guarding Mario can actually be tricky if you don't know what you're doing. But Plank, Plank at least does that. That's pretty. Oh. Yeah, he can't have that much matchup experience. Well, actually, one of our uh, old school players, Boss, was really oh, active right, and really boss. good. So Plank, Plank probably remembers something about this matchup. It's been a while since Boss has entered a melee tournament. So. Yeah, so maybe he's got a no knocked off the rust. Yeah. It can tilts. also be difficult to just like switch mindsets in the middle of a set. True. You're prepared to tech chase somebody into a follow up, and now yeah. you have to deal with the. Uh, so, so at first, Plank was trying to like full jump over the fireballs, and he was getting abused pretty hard for Ooh, that. He just got tomahawked. But he knows, he knows the, like how to use this ground game now. And that's, I think that's why he's, he's doing so much. He's actually accomplishing something. Yeah, he's actually slowly kind of closing the gap. Against CJ Nintendo. Now it really comes down to the stock. Yeah, he's I mean, he's he's sort of figured out where he's at in the matchup, but like, he, he basically lost the stock from just like taking off the cobwebs or whatever. Yeah, whatever now you call it. To, now he has to fight from behind, even though, even though he's playing okay now. Yeah, so uh, it's. It's not looking good for playing, but he's. Oh, he's got an opportunity. Oh, he got his jump. Oh, nice go. tech from DJ Nintendo. Back okay. air. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, oh my god. And uh, she's that, was a good, that was a good fireball. It sort of blocked him from just wave dashing off. Yeah, that might be the most clutch recovery DJ Nintendo's uh, entire day. Yeah, I'm not really sure what Plank could have done oh, about that. Back air? He just shaking his head. He just really uh, didn't expect to get caught with that. Still has a jump. But still recover. These mind games. A little bit too early. He, he accounted for the uh, side B, but not the down B. Now the situation's changed a little bit. Yeah. The story now is how much damage can DJ Nintendo put on. Because it seems like character to character, um, a little bit of what we all know is starting to show up. Plank is actually having a pretty hard time closing out this star. Yeah, good job, DJ Nintendo. Know, nothing else is a little bit frustrating. Nice pass, shield. <laughs> Alright, down throw up air is probably good. Oh, fair. That's gonna do it. There you go. Alright, 62%. Can Plank bring this back and win it? Or will DJ Nintendo be Plank, moving on to Plank lose his semis? Plank has gotta hit his edge guards this time. There's no way he's gonna have another chance to build DJ up to 150. Oh, raw forward smash. He Jeez. knew he was just gonna drop down. That's gonna do it. Rats to DJ Nintendo, taking out Plank again. Plank's laughing about it. He's not a he's not a poor sport, and DJ Nintendo. So all of that was pretty much just because Plank 
didn't know how to edge guard Mario. Like. Yeah, and I mean, you can't. It's not one of those things you can really learn in a, in a, in a inside of like you know five minutes. It right. definitely takes some lab work if you don't know all the tricks. Yeah, that's one of the. Uh, 